I'm riding around. Why? Yeah, I know it's raining. I'm wet. It's fine. Where is it? Should be able to do this by feel. There we go. Hey, how you doing, Duff here? It's been very rainy the last two days. Uh, we're getting like the side effects of uh, the tropical storm that was in our area. I'm wearing my new Scorpion helmet. And um, I just mounted a side mirror to it. And this one actually is better than my other ones. This one is a, a, a convex mirror, so it gives you a very wide uh, angle of view. I can see the entire road behind me. I don't think you can see this in the camera what I can see But it's it's almost like a like a GoPro view of the road so I can see everything um, so This is gonna be my new officially recommended uh, Rear view mirror. This is great. Wow. It's really good This is almost like having a rear view mirror like that you have it mounted to your windshield of your car I can see that much. That's really cool. So um, I'll add this to my link of uh, official uh, equipment must-haves in the description below. Okay, I, I haven't mentioned that I am riding the Nikola today. And I'm doing a different kind of ride. I'm going to be staying right around the house, but what I'm going to be doing is riding the side streets across the Mockley Road for me. Um, they are very uh, sparsely populated. It's like a big grid of, of side streets, so... I'm just going to ride around there. I actually have not done that since uh, 2016, I think. I haven't ridden these side streets. And the reason I know that is because I remember very clearly because it was um, uh, prior to the election. And I remember um, coming across someone that had spray, spray painted across the road, F Trump. Uh, so it kind of stuck in my mind. So yeah, we're just gonna ride around. I got my uh, wheel log running, I got my watch on. Even though, well, I guess I can go kind of fast in these abandoned side streets, but just gonna chill. So right now, the configuration I have with the Scorpion helmet is I have the wind, the, um, the glare screen down, but I have the, the windshield up because um, I think if I had the windshield down, it would feel very, very uncomfortable, especially today. It just feels so humid. Um, it feels good to have the wind hitting me in the face. And uh, this is pretty good. I think on a sunny day, I would probably still be wearing my sunglasses, but uh, this does a pretty good job of uh, protecting my eyes. And this mirror is awesome. God damn, it's awesome. I wish I could accurately show you um, how awesome it is. And this mirror, it comes with um, double-sided tape and, and a Velcro fastener system, but I, I don't use that typically because they have a, a tendency to come loose, especially in the Florida heat. The, uh, the tape will loosen up and then the mirror will shake all over the place. So I actually have two small screws um, holding this in place. Just drilled a couple holes and uh, screwed it in place so it should not come loose. Uh, short of a, of a fall, that would probably knock it loose. So there's a, there's a good chance that I'm going to probably get rained on here as well. I think there's a rabbit. Because uh, the skies look rather uh, gray. Yep, I'm, I'm getting rained on right now, actually. Right, let's turn around and go the other direction where there might be some less rain. Oh, I see rain ahead, too. You see that? When you stop being able to see the, um, the horizon, uh, that's usually because there's a wall of rain. So... Might be getting a little wet. It's okay, the Nikola can take it. So I actually had somebody that at least initially seemed like he was somewhat interested in taking me up on my Nikola Plus for KS16X uh, even up trade. I think his name's Jason. He posted on, um... oh man, I'm gonna get really wet, shit. Oh well, it's only water, right? It's only water. He posted on one of Marty's videos, 16X videos, where I mentioned about the trade. And he said that, uh, he was, he was a game for it. I, I, I posted my email address if he was serious that we could uh, talk about it some more. But unfortunately, I haven't heard anything beyond that. 
but we'll see. Still definitely down for it. If someone wants to trade, I'll do it. All right, so now we're on the road that uh, heads to uh, the, um, the swamp. So we're gonna give that a shot. Uh, see, this might not be good though for my phone. My pocket's gonna get very, very wet and my phone is right here. Uh, maybe if I move it to my back pocket, I'll, I'll try that. Okay, phone is in the back pocket. Seems to be a little less rain this way. It's weird, I mean, it was, it was raining very hard this morning and then uh, Cindy and I did a coffee run and it was looking nice. I mean, the, the, the skies were breaking up, I had lots of blue sky uh, mixed in with the clouds and I thought, okay, we're, we're, uh, we're in the clear. But now uh, clouds have rolled back in again, unfortunately, and uh, precipitation. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not getting rained on right here. This is better. So those of you the, in the LA area, and those of you even that are not in the LA area, because from what I understand, some people from out of the area are actually traveling to this event. The uh, EUC Games, um, hosted by Rama, and I know Marty is helping a lot with the event as well. That goes on next weekend. I think I, I saw somewhere that the, uh, the fat unicyclist was even coming, and he's uh, he's in uh, New Zealand or Australia. I think New Zealand. He's going. He's going to the the EUZ games, I believe, which is kind of crazy. It's going to be cool to see uh, how the event goes, what kind of participation they get. Looks like fun, for sure. Um, I actually they're giving away a bunch of prizes. I think E Wheels is an official sponsor. There's some other people that are sponsoring as well. Um, I asked Marty if Rama would be interested in a couple of my EUC stands as as prizes, giveaways, whatever. And uh, he said, sure. So I'm not gonna go, right there's a gravel road. I'm not gonna go that way. I don't wanna get the wheel totally disgusting. So I asked if he wanted a couple stands for the EUC games and he said, sure. So I just uh, dropped them off uh, in the mail today. So um, I'm not sure what events are gonna tie those prizes to, but uh, you will have an opportunity to get a couple free stands at the EUC games. Speaking of the stands, um, Marty did like a, a 15 minute infomercial <laughs> on my stands. I sent him uh, one of my uh, higher end, my, pr my premium stands um, that I make on the Prusa. And it's, it was the wider style that's uh, used for the 16X and the Z10. And he did like a 15 minute video that like went over the assembling and using it and uh, in, in normal Marty um, style, you know, he has some critiques for it, which was good, it was good feedback. But I really appreciate it. And, and almost on cue, the, uh, the day after that video posted, I, I had my largest drop off at the post office ever. I had like, oh my God, I don't know, eight stands or something like that to ship out. So it was kind of crazy. I have an own, unknown caller on my phone. I don't know who that would be besides Cindy. I think I missed her. All right, better call her. She's probably gonna say, hey, it's raining. I'm like, no shit. Hey, I think I call the number, bro. I'm, I'm riding around, why? Because it's pouring. Yeah, I, I know it's raining, I'm wet. It's fine. I know, I'm coming to get you to come. Where are you? No, I don't want you to come get me. It's not, it's, it's only lightly raining where I'm at. It's fine, don't worry about it. Cindy, I'm fine. I don't melt in the rain. I understand that, but it's dangerous that people can't. Where are you at, though? I'm, right now, I'm on Shady Hollow. How is it not raining? Right it, is, it is raining lightly, but I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I, I already rode through heavy rain. Don't worry about it. Are you coming back? I don't know. If it rains, I know how to handle rain. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. Can I bring you a rain? No. No. But my phone is getting wet, okay? So, bye. okay, bye. Ay, ay, ay. Cindy worries, if you haven't noticed. She worries a lot about things. So anyways, yeah, thanks, Marty. I appreciate the, uh, the plug for the stands. Um, it's funny, I mean, I, I've, I have in my, in my uh, print room like seven printers, and I've been printing a lot of stuff. A lot of a lot of stands, 
and um, up until this morning, like I was, I was totally out of the normal size stands. I, I, I just posted two this morning, but the demand has been um, crazy because, you know, EUCs obviously are uh, gaining in popularity over time, and it seems to be a pretty common occurrence that uh, when someone buys one EUC, they inevitably wind up with more than one. And it seems like what happens is uh, once someone buys one of my stands, they, they, I've gotten pretty much unanimous feedback on it. Um, they wind up buying more. So, yeah, it's a good problem to have. Keeps me busy, though. Keeps me busy. It's funny, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of riding back and forth here in the same spot on the road because I look one way and it looks like it's raining, and they look the other way, it looks like it's raining. So, but it's raining here too, just not so hard. But the helmet does a good job of uh, keeping me uh, keeping me somewhat dry, at least my face, because I have this overhang here, and then I have the um, the sunscreen down. So, it does a good job. Did I mention this mirror is awesome? It's awesome. All right, so let's let's look back here and see how the uh, design of the Nicholas shell does with uh, rain. Yeah, because the case covers a um, large portion of the tire, you know, unlike the 16X, the case itself acts as a mud guard. So I don't really think an auxiliary mud guard is something that you have to worry about with the Nikola. I believe it's the same deal with the Tesla too. So. That's one good thing about the case design on the Nikola. It's funny, the houses on this on this road here, you know, this is, this is a very remote area. Um, and it butts up against the, the Rookery Swamp, but the houses uh, here, without question, these all have been all, except for like one or two, have been built in the last five years. They are extravagant, monster houses. And I guess because it backs up against that lake, maybe? I don't know. But for years and years, there was like one house on this road. And now there's probably, I don't know, 10 in this section here. It's quiet and everything, except well, I guess you do have a considerable amount of traffic from people going to the swamp. But um, yeah, all the houses are just like this. You know, three and four car garages, just, they're beautiful. Yeah. Now over on the other side, the non-lake side, you have more normal size construction. But lakeside, nothing but big ones. If it keeps raining like this, the uh, the lens on the GoPro is going to keep getting wet. I've wiped it off uh, four or five times so far, so uh, that won't make for great video. So um, we'll see. We'll see how long I stay out here. God damn it. Ay, ay, ay. I almost lost my freaking balance. I, I um, just turned the GoPro on and... I felt something slip. I thought the GoPro for some reason was coming off its mount and here it was the uh, the external mic and I, I caught it, but I was dangerously close to uh, kind of losing my balancer. Not paying attention. All right, so we're back on this street here. I don't see the wall of water, so we'll see how we do here. But it is still raining. Oh, I mentioned earlier the fat unicyclist, how he was going to the EUC games. Also, I saw that um, you know they 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 had released a neoprene uh, shell cover for the 18L and XL, which has been pretty popular. Does a great job of protecting the shell of your wheel. I saw that they also have come out with one uh, for the 16X as well. So that's awesome. Uh, that's a great idea, and and everyone that I've heard of that has one of those covers loves it. So. Um, if you're looking to give your wheels some pretty substantial protection, keep it looking good, I would suggest you look into one of those covers. Yeah, I forgot the, how nice this area back here is to ride. I mean, I'm in the middle of the road. I'm in, on uh, Wilson Boulevard right now. And uh, there's, I haven't seen, I've seen one truck that was just pulling into his house. But other than that, I haven't seen a single vehicle. Nice and open. Uh, the one issue you can have over here, because I do remember having this issue uh, when I rode this in 2016, was uh, dogs. There are some people back here that don't um, think it's important to keep their dog uh, constrained in any way. 
you know, behind a fence, something like that. So I, I did have to outrun a dog last time I was here, or two dogs actually. I've seen uh, Chooch's videos on the 16X. Looks like he had a blast in the 16X. I don't know if he still has it, but uh, he was riding everywhere. He loves it. And um, Marty, you know, despite his initial sort of lukewarm feelings about the 16X, I, I have a feeling that he's uh, grown to like it a lot more. Or, or maybe he's just riding it a lot because it's a, it's the, the newest and shiniest of his wheels, but it seems like he really is impressed by it. And I believe he's still riding the 105 firmware. He's never updated his firmware, so he, uh, he is pleased. And I understand why. Hmm, I had forgotten. I thought, I thought Wilson went all the way through. I didn't realize it dead ended here. Because Wilson Boulevard is actually the route that I take uh, on my uh, commute to work. I turn onto Wilson, the other side of Wilson. I had forgotten. It's been such a long time. I forgot that there's a canal here. So we will reverse. Hey, it's not raining right this second. And look, there's some blue sky actually. So hopefully this breaks up. I had, I did um, have some loose mental plans to try to get the mowing done today, but um, we need to have some uh, sun to dry out the grass if that's gonna happen. Free, work, free wicker chair, anyone that's uh, interested. So weird, I keep, uh, all weekend I've been commenting to Cindy how, you know, one, a week ago we were out on the open seas, you know, last week at this time we were in uh, Nassau. Um, and to be quite honest with you, I, 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 I mean, I was looking forward to going on the cruise, but it wasn't, you know, cruising generally, I never thought it was my cup of tea, you know, because I don't like big crowds and... You know, I don't know. I don't remember having super fantastic memories of, of the last cruise, but I really enjoyed myself. It was fun. I find myself looking back on uh, our experiences from a week ago very fondly, so I think we will be doing them again in the future. And I'm sure, if, Cindy, if you're seeing this, I'm sure you're happy to hear that. Oh, and I didn't mention, obviously Cindy's not here. She was calling me on the phone. She's, um, she's out shopping with Katie, I believe, right now doing her thing and then she also has uh, she's trying to, to clean up in advance of our big carpet restretching project which happens is supposed to happen next Monday which is gonna suck I mean I, I'm trying to look at the positive the positive that it gives me a chance to organize clean um, throw out shit I don't need you know out of those rooms that are so congested like the office and the um, hobby room but man oh man <laughs> There's so much stuff in there, guys. It's crazy. And it's, it's it's mostly stuff that I use. I mean, almost exclusively stuff that I use, but I'm sure there's some things we can get rid of. But it's going to be a hell of a job to pull it all out and then put it all back. It's going to consume probably all a good portion of Sunday and uh, a good portion of Monday as well. All right, guys, I think I'm going to um, start heading back. Just want to get out a little bit weather's not great and i of course i have stuff to do so they want to just get a ride in even if it's a wet ride a wet ride is better than no ride i guess so if you found this video interesting please give it a big thumbs up if this is your first time visiting your channel please consider subscribing if you're going to subscribe i'd appreciate it if you hit that notify bell over there that will notify you of new uploads so you don't miss one. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below about the EUC games, about my, my continued interest in trading my Nikola for a 16X, about 3D uh, printed uh, unicycle stands, you know, whatever, or just whatever else uh, floats your boat. That's fine too. Um, I will have links in the description below for this awesome rear view mirror and uh, this the, the Scorpion helmet, and it will be in all my uh, future uh, descriptions as well. I always try to keep descriptions of my current safety equipment, links to purchase my current safety equipment in my video descriptions. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested, look for it there. And that's all I have for you for now. I hope you're having a great weekend. Go Eagles. Until next time, Duffman out.
splash test. I can report that the pedals on the Nicola Plus stay grippy even when wet.